Infectious diseases are a problem not of just the virus or not of just the bacterium, but we need to understand the role of the pathogen in the context of a host, and those hosts live in ecosystems. And the ecology of infectious diseases considers infectious disease as a problem in a holistic or systematic way. One of the phenomena that we looked at was the spread rate of West Nile virus in New York City. Now you should imagine that New York City is actually quite heterogeneous with respect to its potential to, to propagate the virus. One of the things that we did was develop a model to try and understand how that spread would happen. And we documented for the first time decelerating traveling waves in that heterogeneous space. This is important because it's a counterexample to a lot of the standard theory that said that traveling waves of an epidemic ought to be moving at a constant speed or possibly even accelerating. So we identified the conditions under which they actually decelerate. Well, that's actually important to containment because that is the first ingredient you need in order to set up the spatial allocation of any kind of intervention. And in the case of a vector-borne disease like West Nile virus or Zika virus or chikungunya virus, one of your key tools for containment is vector control. But where do you apply that vector control? That's a problem that modeling can help us with.